welcome to another KT V5 video tutorial. This time I want to show you how to create laws and how to use them with an example a propeller. So for laws you need sketches or curves. So I will go for a sketch. I already inserted three geometrical sets, sketches, surfaces, laws. Define a work object, go for a sketch on this plane, hide as usual these elements. I just need a line. And it might be coincident with this axis. Give it a dimension, let's say 200, and make it symmetric. Like this. Okay, I will call this one reference line. Just to make it easier to understand. So I need another sketch. Again on this plane. And this should be a spline. It should be symmetric, so make this coincident, make these symmetric, allow symmetry line, allow symmetry line and again then I will give it a dimension it's not necessary but I will do so then I will rearrange these points a little bit to give it more the appearance of a propeller blade, maybe something like this. We can change it after all. Okay, I will call this one Law Curve 1. or well, law curve form, that's more like it. And another sketch which is responsible for the dimension or the length or the width of the blade. This could be, for example, something like this. Make this coincident. Give it length, say 20. Make these two parallel, give it a dimension, two hundred, and make this one symmetric. Okay. This one 100 and 
this one, let's say 20. This should be called, for example, log curve width. Yep. Okay, so now for the laws. First law, or maybe I would change the graphical appearances of these lines, give them all a different thickness and different colors, make this one green, this one, let's say, pink, and this one, cyan. That's okay. Now, first law should be defined with the reference line, that's this one, and the form curve. You can scale it here afterwards. And okay. And the second law same reference line, now use the curve width. And okay. I can rename these as well call it law form and this one law width okay and now I go for my sweep use line with reference surface, guide curve should be the reference line, the surface should be this one, the angle should be controlled. Oh, I think I made a mistake. It's not form and width, it's twist. I will rename it afterwards. So it's First is this law, that's the form close, and the second one is the form as well. Okay, and okay, so it looks like this. So I would change these names. That's the twist, not the twist. And call this twist in a similar fashion. Okay. So I could apply, apply some thickness. Let's switch to part design. Go for thickness. Select the surface, give it, let's say, 1.0 on one, 1 1.0 on the other side. Looks like this. Maybe I hide these sketches, but if I hide them, I cannot visibly change them. So <laughs> let's take a look. See, the blade is twisted up to here, then it's steady and then it's twisted again. So you could scale this law, for example, scale it by 10. Take a look, you get something like this. But I will go for, let's say, 2. Yeah, that's okay. And if you want to change the form, you can also scale the form law. So 0.5 gets smaller. Or 2 get 
that's broader. Yeah. Or you could change this curve, go to the sketch and move this down a little bit. This point and you could do it like this and you got a different propeller blade. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed another small accident and see you next time. Bye.